Hey guys. Blessed Friday. It is Friday. Um, yes, I am in my pajama top. Uh, I apparently uh, broke my toe. So, um, I didn't get very much sleep last night, needless to say. I wasn't aware that I broke my toe. And I was kind of busy at work today, so I kind of had my foot um, elevated up a bit here, so it's just a little more comfortable um, doing that and doing the video in my pajamas. So yeah, we are in our pajamas today, and I'm drinking a nice cup of hot cocoa in my Hocus Pocus cup. See, I put a spell on you, and now you're mine. So, purpose of this video uh, today, I have two separate um, things to do. Um, so the video might be a little bit longer, but then again, my videos do generally be a little bit longer. I apologize, I like to talk, but I also like to, you know, make sure you guys, you know, kind of understand and get what I'm explaining and I try to go a little more into debt on explaining things or whatever the case may be. Um, I have two things here from some small uh, witchy businesses. One is based in Montreal. Um, she makes beautiful candles. Um, she also does oils. Um, like roll-on oils, um, I believe she does um, sprays, she does amazing wax melts. Um, I've been getting candles from her for about a year now, maybe a little over a year. Um, <clears throat> and I kind of get them sporadically throughout the year. Um, so, but I always buy, I always get candles from her every year. Um, I get my daughters to each pick out three or four different candles to give me a variety to choose from and then I choose one of those candles so they they know that they're getting one of the candles they just don't know which one so obviously I'm not going to show those candles because um, she does wrap them um, because my girls uh, tend to kind of watch my channel um, and they know that they're getting these candles they just don't know what candle they're getting um, and I will leave all the information for both shops um, on uh, the in the comments down below okay so this is the first one I'm doing is um, from she is in Montreal I'll leave all the information there um, her name is Melissa she is a beautiful young witch um, I actually adore this lady this this young girl the name of her company is Wild Blackthorn. Um, and again, like I said, I'll leave her Etsy page down there. Um, her shop is through Etsy. Um, I'll leave her Instagram down there as well. Um, <clears throat> she's a, I just, I love her to pieces. Um, she's around the same age as uh, my daughter. So um, I just, she's, she's amazing. Check her out and her candles are phenomenal. This is how the package came. Everything is neatly tied. Um, this was actually a gift that she was gifting me, um, which I so appreciated. And I'm so excited to have it because I got to find a special spot for it. Thank you, Melissa. Um, <clears throat> so this is from another um, small uh, business as well. Um, I believe she does... Um, the dream catchers and stuff like that so I'll be leaving her information on there as well um, I believe she did a like a collaboration with her um, so and I'm she gifted me this because I'm uh, you know just like ordering from her and I'm always trying to push her shop and you know, um, she just, she wanted to, I, to give me something back for it. Um, 
which I tried to tell her she didn't need to. And she's like, well, no, like I really want to. So she told me to pick one of the lovely dream catchers. Um, so I did, and I'm super excited. Um, oh, I love these. So <clears throat> again, which I have said before, um, I purchase all my own um, items, I, all of my subscription boxes, I purchase myself, I pay for them, nothing is for free. This is actually the first time that I've actually uh, was gifted um, something from a company. So, Intertwine Lo Love Shop, from forest floor to magical galore, the fallen are beautiful. So I picked the purple one because I really, I just, I really loved the purple and I like purple. So it's all handmade for that. And it's got the little pinnacle right there and it's super, super, super soft. So I'm definitely going to have to hide this for my cats because I don't know what it is with this type of a yarn. They just really like it. So I think it's really, really pretty. I love it. And I've seen uh, her work because I've checked out her shop. It's really good. Check her shop out. I'll leave her shop down below as well. And oh yeah, got some little cedar bits. I'm excited. I will kind of put this on my altar because I have it set up for you. Alrighty. I'm just gonna move my cards here off of here, just so I have some room. There we go. Alrighty. So she always gives like a little gift. So we got some little Christmas candies. And she always gives a free wax melt. Oh, this smells good. Hmm. Ah. Oh, look at that. It's cute. A little heart. And I actually ordered some wax melts. I got <clears throat> the last one of her roasted marshmallow. So this is how it comes nice and packaged. Um, I usually get her Baba Yaga candle every year, but I thought I would switch it up a bit this year because I always get it. So. Like, I want to eat it. It's so good. So this is the wax melt. Oh, oh, I'm excited. I'm definitely burning one of these tonight. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm just going to, you know, knock everything off my altar here. Alrighty. And I don't care, maybe some people might be like, oh, like she can't. I like that she repurposes everything because in my house, we're a family of repurposing. So um, I try to repurpose as much as I can. Um, even like my subscription boxes when they come, all like the, um, the noodles that come in the boxes, I put them um, in a bigger box and I put it downstairs because... Both of my daughters each have their own Etsy business, so it's there if they need to ship something over or whatever, they have it, so. Okay, uh, so this is one of my daughter's gifts. I'm not sure which is which, so. I That's the only thing is I have to look to see which one is which, so I know who's is whose, but sorry if I'm out of frame. So it's just the candles. I actually have to open <laughs> I gotta open them to see if this is Because I'm only going to show you, I'm only gonna show you my candle. So I got the Yule candle. Um, just give me one sec, guys. I just 
just want to make sure I uh... hmm. how about that for intuition <laughs> actually opened up my own candle so these other two beautiful ones here are both of my daughters so this one is mine which I'm excited I'm actually gonna light it while um, we're opening up the other package here oh this just smells so good so these are her candles so they actually used to be in a um, I have one here let me see um they used to be in an amber jar um with the lid on it i have one here um just because this one this one i only burn when i'm doing shadow work because that's actually what it's for so this is the dark forest um so they used to be in an amber jar with um the lid on it So, and I mean, I've had this for a while. I think I got this in the summer, actually. Um, I do it, I use it when I'm uh, kind of, you know, doing shadow work and, you know, thoughts and things like that. So, but all of her candles come with a crystal. So this one, I believe it was a clear quartz that was on there. And this one, it actually, it's literally Christmas. So it's got a bit of a minty smell to it and like woodsy, like pine. And it's just, it's amazing. Mm. Like look at, look at all the goodies in there and the red and the green. You got the cedar, the little kind of baby acorns, the crystal the star niece all of her candles come very dressed so alrighty uh, I'm lighting your candle girl I'm just gonna trim that wick a little bit though give me one sec guys I just gotta find it my wick trimmer Should be in here. It's supposed to be in here. Oh. Well then, there it is. I'm just blind, apparently. That's fine. It's been a long day. Working on my feet for eight hours. I am a full-time cashier with a broken toe is very interesting to say the least alrighty guys blessed you guys we are Finishing up the first few days of Yule, so yes, alrighty. So the next um, shop, I did do a little video on the weekend. It is a new witch shop that opened up here in Ottawa. Um, it's if you live here in Ottawa, it's on Rideau Street. Um, it's 509 Rito Street. Um, she is a beautiful witch herself. Um, I believe she's a traditional witch. Don't quote me on it though, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Amazing, amazing lady. And her husband, amazing guy. I had to go there actually to pick up um, an oracle deck that she was gonna, had put on hold for me. Um, I, 
because you can't get it anywhere. They've been sold out for quite a couple of weeks now. Um, I actually had it in my Amazon cart and it, it sold out. I had that one and um, the Oracle deck that I had picked up last weekend. They both were out of my cart. Um, so she had one of them at her shop. So I mean, I obviously would rather give my business to a fellow um, small business owner, like a fellow witch, than ordering it on Amazon, right? So I got that deck there. I asked her about the Season uh, season of the Witch um, Oracle deck, the Yule Oracle deck, and she's like, I've been trying to get a hold of it now for quite a few weeks now. She was like, I actually just got a phone call um, on Friday asking if I wanted to place an order for some. She's like, and I said, yeah. So she's like, I'm expecting them to come in sometime this week or like during the week. Did you want me to put a deck aside for you? And she did. Um, <clears throat> had a beautiful conversation with uh, both of them about which school um, that I graduated from. So they wanted some information because they knew of some people that had went to which school or so some people that have been talking about which school but didn't know anybody that actually went to which school and graduated from there. So they just wanted some more information. So I great opportunity for me to promote um, something that I um, am very passionate about and uh, you know, had such an amazing experience with, which was witch school. So I was talking about witch school with them. So I had a, actually had a very beautiful conversation with the two of them. Um, and, you know, we just talked about a bunch of stuff. Um, I've only been to the store once. It was myself and both my daughters. And she actually remembered my name. So I was I, kind of touched by that. I was like, oh, wow. Like, you know, like she pays attention and she is personable with her customers that come in I like that so and then I called her today she called me Wednesday uh, she's like there's no rush I have your deck here whenever you can get a chance to get here it's here so I called her today when I was on my break to let her know that I'll be there today after work and um, I went in and her husband was the one that was downstairs at first and I asked him if I can rest my backpack there and uh, he's like yeah 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 no problem and I was like I have a deck put aside there I said but I just want to go upstairs and look at something he's like go ahead so I went upstairs and as I was coming up the stairs she saw me and she was like hi Tammy and I was like hey hi Julie and we talked so it just it's the small things you know and I appreciate that she actually remembered who I was and you know that I was there on the Sunday and shopping and we had a conversation and then again like it's just I appreciate that and um, I love her store it's a very small quaint store um, but I'm a hundred percent sure she's gonna grow and and grow and grow so um, but yeah, so it is called um, The Witch's Chest. And I got her little baggies, the cute the little stamp, you know. Um, so, obviously I got my Yule deck. Um, but I also, and she wraps everything. With the tissue paper. Um, <laughs> the little touches, you know, like, it's just, I appreciate it, and I love it. Um, you know, conversation, like, I love the conversation. Like, I could totally see myself going there, you know, with a cup of tea and just sitting and having a cup of tea and just talking, you know, talking shop, you know. Um, and everything is locally grown, which I love, too. So, just got a nice little bundle of lavender. Mm. Um, I personally like burning fresh dried lavender myself. I just, 
especially at night. So I'm just going to rest that there with my besom tree. My besom tree, sorry, my besom broom. Can you tell I didn't sleep very much last night? <laughs> so, um, and I picked myself up some incense. Um, and see, incense I picked up on the weekend, the Native Soul. Um, the type of essential oil that that company uses, it's super, super, super strong. Um, and I mostly burn incense in my room. Uh, my husband is the one that kind of more burns the incense downstairs. But just for my small bedroom here, it's too much, it's too strong, like I can't, it gives me a headache. So my husband was very happy because he ended up with like three or four boxes of incense. So yeah, there's that. So I got um, myrrh, wintergreen, and pine incense. So these are just like her loose leaf incense that she has on this cute little table and you can kind of pick your own. So I got some incense. And I really wanted a smudge spray um, to bring to work. I was having a hard time deciding if I wanted the lavender or the Palo Santo or the sage. So I got lavender first because she was actually almost out of lavender. So I was like, you know what? I'll get the lavender first just because she was almost out. So, um, she makes her own. So these are hers. She makes them herself. Um, but, uh, I just, I wanted it for when I'm at work and, you know, especially with the holiday season coming, I'm sorry, people get very nasty during the holiday season. I find shoppers. So when I'm feeling really, you know, I can smudge myself and, uh, it just smells amazing. <sighs> just to, you know, center yourself, you know? Leave it to me. Let me smudge myself and knock everything over. Yeah, it's... Uh, definitely been one of those days today I apologize guys and then uh, um, I got myself a road opener um, candle just because I feel like I feel like um, There's, sometimes I feel like there's something blocking me. Um, so I just, I wanted to get um, a road opener candle. So, and she had some um, there. So this is a road opening opener candle. Um, and it's, you know, for everything, you know, success, love, um, health, uh, you know, business, like everything. It's, it's just, it's a generic, it's for everything. So that's, uh, <clears throat> that's why I, I wanted to get it. And then uh, I, uh, I am doing a course actually um, it's a psychic development course um, and the lady that is teaching it is a medium um, she's actually a fellow witch school graduate I love her to death um, her and I actually clicked um, the first time we met in person, we had met kind of just through zoom, doing the rituals through zoom and stuff. Um, and then we finally actually got to meet in person, um, for our Maybon uh, ritual. Cause we did it outside. 
And then the next day I actually had to go to a graduation into um, for which school because um, I am an alumni. So I try to go to all the graduations um, for the next cohort. And so you do um, you do like the first part of your course and then you do the second part. Uh, so like your first semester, your second semester, and then at the end of your second semester, it's a graduating into for the third semester, right? So there's like a whole ritual around it and stuff like that. And it's, um, it's a bunch of um, previously graduated um, Wish School students, um, so alumni, um, but everybody that is there, like we're all witches and all different stages of our life. So there's crones there, mothers, like just a huge range. And it, it's a very, the energy is very, very strong. It's very powerful. So, um, but we met that first weekend in September for the, we had the Maybon ritual on the Saturday and then the graduation was on the Sunday. And, uh, excuse me, we just clicked like immediately, like as if we've known each other for years. Um, so she had actually, um, our second class. So our first class was on Zoom. Our second class was in person and it's just myself and, and one other, um, young lady. Um, she had actually sent us a list of books that are very good uh, to read, to help us um, further uh, our journey with our um, psychic abilities um, and our gifts and our clairvoyant gifts and each of the clairs. And so all of these books will actually help us develop them uh, further and make them more stronger. So like strengthen them. And this was actually one of the books that was on there and I seen it sitting there and I was like, well, I do have it in my Amazon cart, but I would rather buy it in a local witch um, store and give a fellow witch my business. So that's how I think. I'm very much into trying to promote and push um, small businesses, especially small businesses um, for my practice, you know, and like local farmers and everything I try very hard to do local as much as I can so this is a book um, my 20 year old daughter is actually reading this book I'm not quite sure how far into it she is but so this is my read now this will be my new read I'll be starting this uh, tonight I'm excited to read it and then my last and final item I saved it for last just because obviously we're gonna go through the deck is the uh, Seasons of the Witch Yule Oracle and that's the deck and it is by um, Lorraine Anderson and Juliette Diaz um, illustrated by Giada Rose I apologize if I'm not saying the name right I have the Samhain deck to this which I did do a um, kind of like unboxing and uh, card reveal or flip through on my channel it is on my channel um, so if you want to see what the Samhain one looks like by all means go ahead and look um, I will be pre-ordering the Beltane one because the Beltane one has been made um, I believe it's to be released in February of 2022 so I mean technically realistically in a few months right because we are already in December just looking for something to open this with there we go nope yep that's not it <laughs> sorry guys I'm so sorry oh you know what I'll I'll make it work <sighs> when I want something I can't find it and then when I don't need it I can find it. Isn't that always the way, guys? Alrighty. And again, I will leave um, 
the websites for um, all three of these uh, companies, uh, little businesses. So. so again, it's the thumb, right? Box. And that's it's nice and shiny. So I'm actually very excited to work with this um, because it's going to work with the energies um, around Yule and stuff. So in the darker energy because we're in the darker months. So I mean, you can even use this like after Yule. Do you know what I mean? So which like that's what I did with my Samhain deck. So I used my Samhain deck um, during the month of October because uh, I got it in October. Um, and then I used it um, kind of coming into November. And then it was, you know, like coming to the ending of November is when I had anticipated getting, I actually had anticipated getting this in the middle of November, but it was sold out and it wasn't in my um, cart anymore. And then I wanted to change the energy and work with more of a darker energy just because it's the darker half of the year, which is why I got the dark goddess. So, but now that I was actually able to get my hands on this, I'm going to try and work with this because I mean we are in the seat for in the season for you also so this is our guidebook <clears throat> so let's take a look at the guidebook so that's a guidebook and it is um, it's 136 pages um, so they actually mention um, the Beltane one in here. It says, Season of the Witch Beltane Oracle. We continue to turn the wheel, moving on now to Beltane. This deck is a celebration of new beginnings, passion, fertility, and creativity, and a general celebration of life. We continue with Giada's incredible illustrations, as always, but with richer, more extensive colors. I'm so excited to see that deck. Um, we invite you to continue on this journey with us as we turn to the spring season. So, but it's all, it's all in color. Um, I know the one thing I did catch when I seen a flip through for this. So in the Samhain deck, um, they do reversals. Um, which was the first time I've ever seen them do reversals in um, an Oracle deck. Very much appreciated. I really liked that. Um, but I did, uh, someone did mention that they didn't do it in this one, which is fine. I'm actually used to not having reversals for Oracle decks. So that was actually the first time I ever experienced that. But as you can see, they're... It's all done in color. And there's quite a bit of information. Um, so let's see the layout for it. Some beautiful holly and the berries. All right, so we have about the authors. <clears throat> That's the table of contents. So about the authors. Um, Lorraine Anderson is the founder of Spirit Element, a spiritual wellness boutique, and the Spirit Guides, a blog devoted to modern mystic mysticism. Sorry, guys. Um, she has more than 10 years experience as an herbalist, aromatherapist, a crystal healer, and practitioner of magical and earth-based arts. She draws her practice from her varied cultural heritage, which includes Viennese, Roman, Romanian, and Irish. And then um, Juliet Diaz is an indigenous Tiano Cubana from a long line of um, curandios, I apologize if I'm not saying it right, but in brackets it says healers, um, and brujas on both sides of her parents' lineage. 
um, at the age of three, signs of her natural gifts like cosmic channeling, seer, plant whispering, energy reading, and communication with spirits and other realms shun through. Juliet believes magic lives within us all and feels passionately about inspiring others to step into their truth. Juliet has devoted her life to helping others weave light, medicine, and magic into their lives. Helping thousands of people um, come back to self. She's the creator of an online membership, The Altar Within. She has a Master's of Science in Herbal Medicine and countless certifications in an array of healing modalities. Uh, featured in major publications such as Oprah Magazine, National Geographic, The Atlantic, um, <coughs> Wired and Refinery, to name a few. Juliet is the author of the best-selling book in its genre, Witchery, Embrace the Witch Within. Oh, I'm going to have to check her book out. Um, and a number of one, and the number one new release, Plant Witchery. I actually, I think I actually have that in my uh, Amazon cart. Um, about the illustrator. What is that? Like something's tickling my leg. It's uh, this. There we go. Um, Giada or Giada Rose is a Kentucky based watercolor illustrator interested in the threads that stretch between nature, femininity, magic, and art. Her paintings are infused with a longing for the old ways and a love of folklore and mythology. You can find her work on her website, giadarose.com, and her Etsy, and her shop, etsy.com slash shop slash giadarose, as well as on Instagram. And then it talks about the introduction. I obviously won't read the introduction because it's quite a bit. Um, it just says, and the wheel turns. Um, the call for diversity and magic. Uh, we want to send you our deepest and most sincere. Uh, oh, yes, this was. Um, we want to send you <clears throat> our deepest and most sincere apology for not showing up for people of color, POC, in our previous deck of this series. We are. POC authors, and we have long recognized the call for diversity in magic. Magic comes in all shapes, colors, sizes, and what seems like an unlimited number of ways to practice. But we won't lie to you. It's taken us years of personal practice to understand the need for better representation in the magical community. Not because we didn't want to see it, but because issues about race are generational wounds that take time to heal. We can, when we curated Season of the Witch, Sow and Oracle, neither of us was ready to face the manifestation of the POC wound in ourselves. We were trying to teach magic in the most acceptable ways. And sadly, we'd lost our cultural roots for a time. Season of the Witch, Samhain Oracle was well on its way to publication by the time we realized our mistake. When we began to create Yule, we knew without a doubt that POC had to be represented. We've done and redone many cards to infuse a more robust cultural present presence within this deck. And we have every intention of improving, improving on this as the series goes on. We want you to know that we hear you. We see the need for more diversity and magic, and we are ready to help 
bring about this magic. I actually so appreciate that. Um, I was actually looking for this to read it because somebody had mentioned it, but they didn't really read it out. They just kind of skimmed through it, um, which kind of annoyed me a little. Just because I wanted to know, you know, what they were saying about it. Um, I appreciate this as I myself am, um, I'm half native. Uh, my mother is full Aboriginal. Um, we actually... My mom's side of the family are a mixture of Canadian um, and American Native. Um, so, and my father, um, who I don't speak to, but anyways, that's a whole other thing. Um, he is um, Scottish and Métis. So, my grandmother on my dad's side, um, she was actually adopted from the reserve. Um, and she's Métis. So, her mother was um, Native. And her father um, was white. I'm not sure of what. So it was a closed adoption. So, um, and my my children are biracial. So my husband is um, he is he's black. He's from the Caribbean, but he is also indigenous as well. In the Caribbean islands, um, the very first settlers there um, were indigenous. You know, there was um, Arawak Indian and then Carib Indian um, in the Caribbean where he's from. So he has a lot of indigenous uh, blood uh, flowing through him as well. So, so I, I really appreciate this. And I know when my daughters um, actually see this deck, they're going to appreciate it. And they're also going to appreciate the fact that they were very honest in here and actually acknowledged and apologized for it so so now i'm even more excited to see um the energy and the imagery in uh, beltane's um, deck so and then it says reclaiming shifting the witch Im image um magic is not something that is reserved for a select few you don't have to be born into a line of witches to practice magic. You don't need to have an encyclopedic knowledge of your ancestry to practice magic. You don't even have to belong to an indigenous culture to practice magic. Um, every culture, race, and ethnicity um, in the world has some form of witchcraft, some form of magic, which is very true. Um, even the so-called Bible pushing Christians do they just don't like to admit it so the names we give witchcraft may be different but it all boils down to the same thing a connection to something bigger than oneself that transcends the limitations of everyday life so it just kind of goes into talking about um, different types of magic uh, magic is available to everyone all races all shapes all sizes all people um, and then it says a note on religion Let's see what they say about this. Uh, Christmas is a Christian tradition, but its roots are based in pagan ways. I actually just had that conversation today at work with somebody. So, <laughs> um, <clears throat> yes. So, um, familiar symbols such as Christmas trees, stars, lights, uh, giving gifts, and even Santa Claus are threaded through pagan cultures and predate the Christian celebration. When you work with this deck, you will come across seemingly religious cards. In some ways, they are. One cannot remove religion from archetypes such as Mother Mary or our version of Jesus, <coughs> represented by um, the wise men card, 
and still the concept of Mother Mary is likely based on the pagan midwinter celebration known as Mother's Night, the celebration of a goddess giving birth to the sun, which the Christians took and basically was Mary giving birth to Jesus, right? Which, FYI, Jesus was not born in December, so on the 25th. Anyways, um, at one time, ancient Rome celebrated their sun god, <coughs> uh, Mithras, if I'm butchering that name, I apologize, guys, um, birth on or near the winter solstice. This celebration was known as the birth of the sun. Pagans celebrated Yule as the return of light, meaning sunlight. Somewhere along the way, around the 4th century, the Yule celebrations were Christianized and the sun god was replaced with Jesus. Jesus... Yeah. Okay. Jesus. I don't know what happened there. Uh, Jesus became a symbol of returning light to the world in the same way sun gods have done so for pagan cultures for hundreds of years. There is a darkness of the tradition of Christianizing pagan traditions and colonizing in general. But while one should not excuse our Earth's dark history, We've chosen to focus on the beauty these symbols have shifted into over time. When a religious card inevitably comes to your reading, remember that the true meaning of these concept, concepts lies in the pagan ways. Remembering the roots of your practice is what keeps you grounded in truth. Change to allowing you to accept the path of healing that is available to you. And then it goes into how to use these cards. Look at that beautiful image. Um, so invocations. Um, so each card includes an original poem written by Juliet, which I really like. Uh, you can, um, you say these poems the same way you would an affirmation. Speaking them out loud is a declaration of your commitment to seek the card's energy in your life. Um, using the cards beyond Yule. The cards are based on Yule's energy, but you can continue to work with them all year long. Season of the Witch Yule <coughs> Oracle functions in the same way as any other Oracle deck. The themes represent, represented by these cards will be more apparent during the Yule season, but these are concepts that can be useful at any time of the year. There's never a wrong time to experience more light, joy, and self-care. Some additional ways to use these cards are... Um, as a daily guidance cards, uh, pull one card every morning to set the tone for your day. Consider asking questions like, what do I need to know today? How can I navigate this day successfully? What kind of day can I look forward to? Um, as a daily reflection card, uh, this practice is similar to pulling cards in the morning, except you'll pull a card at night. Oh, I've never thought to do that. I think I might do that. That is a good idea. I've never thought to do that. Some amazing questions to ask are, what is one thing I can take away from today? What is something I should reflect on? What needed my attention today that I ignored? Oh, I like that. I'm actually going to let my daughters know that. Um, as an intention cards, as intention cards, oracle cards can be used to invoke specific intentions. Say, for example, you intend to brainstorm a project. You can work with the card 
contemplation intentionally to call in the energy of thought and reflection. Or you may be going through a difficult time such as a divorce or loss of a job. You can work with the energy of reindeer medicine to help you get through your situation. Select your card, read the meaning to refresh your memory, and then say the invocation out loud. Now close your eyes and imagine a warm light flowing out of the card and into your heart space. Continue to hold this vision until the light is spilling out of you and surrounding you in a warm glow. Do this every day until you feel as though you are ready to move on. And then we go into the spreads. I love, so this is actually going to be the backing of the card, which I love. Um, so we have the same three card spread. Interview your deck spread. I'm actually, I'm going to do this. I actually, I didn't even get around to doing it with the Samhain deck. I was just so excited to get the deck and I was so excited to work with it. I didn't even do the interview your deck spread. So <clears throat> we will do that for the Yule deck. Yes. Um, and then there's the Christmas cross tarot spread. So it's kind of like the Celtic cross. And then the evergreen wreath. The star tarot spread. Um, the winter care spread. Here is a simple <coughs> spread to do when you need to reset, recharge, and find some awareness about how to treat yourself with a little more kindness. This is a great spread to do whatever you pull, whatever you pull. Whenever you pull beer medicine, self-care, or silent night. So card one. What is the one thing in my life that I'm not being honest about? Card two, how can I bring awareness and healing to this area? Card three, what is the import, most important thing I need right now? And then card four, how can I be more compassionate with myself? I like that deck, or sorry, that spread. I actually may do that. And then we have the new year ahead. Um, this spread, I'll show you, so it's it's the wheel of the year. Um, so this spread is to give you a snapshot of the year to come. A natural time to use this spell is during New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, but you can also use this at any time of the year. Another good, other good times to use this spread are on your birthday, which my birthday is right after the new year, it's January 3rd, at the beginning of a school year or at the beginning of a long-term project. So card one is January or month one, card two, February or month two, and then it kind of goes on and on to December, which is month 12. And so now we'll go into the card, like the beautiful imagery. So now it goes into the meaning of the cards. Oh, I am so excited. Guys, you have no idea how excited. This was like all I could think about at work. Besides the pain in my foot and the pain in my knee. I have arthritis in my knee. And here in Ottawa, the weather's been up and down. It's either been kind of cold where you think winter is coming. And then it rains and it gets kind of warm where it's kind of like spring weather. So like the arthritis that's in my knee has just kind of been all over the place. And then of course, like I said earlier, I um, broke my toe. I was in rough shape. So it was really nice because I knew I was picking this deck up today. So as a distraction, this is what I was thinking of. <laughs> this was my distraction. So I'm just gonna try and get in here to cut this. There we go. Perfect. Oh, 
and again the beautiful look at that beautiful yule green gilding so the Samhain deck which I did do a, a flip through this is red and the back of the card is red and it's like kind of witchy hands um, and it's um, kind of like roots here and here they have beautiful um, ribbon Okay, so I'm just going to move this over here for a second. And I'm going to move my beautiful wax melts. I just want to have some space here. And I'm going to move this for a sec. I am going to leave my Yule candle here because it's the Yule deck, right? So we want to keep that energy. All right. Oh, I can smell the mint, uh, the peppermint that's in this, or spearmint, whichever one it is. All right, guys. Flip through time. I'm so excited. So excited, like you have no idea. And the first card, card one, is bear. I love bears. Polar bears, black bears, any bear. Oh, I just love that imagery. So there's card one. Bear medicine. There is no tomorrow without the healing of the past. For in stillness, <clears throat> you shall find yourself right where you are. So true. Oh, this is beautiful, beautiful spiral. Candle magic. Finger the spine and caress thy lips. Light the spell spilling from your grip. Actually, this one I'll do. I'll flip them that way. There we go. Ooh, I actually have a couple of red cardinals that fly by my house. Cardinal medicine. Thyself bleeds of sacredness, an honor fit for the gods. You are worth all the seas and all the skies and all the desires you hold inside. It's beautiful. Okay, I like this card. This is nice. Beautiful. Ceremony. I call upon those heralds of winter, dimming light for better sight. Hear thy praise spilling from thy lips, a spell I'll cast for thy spirits in me. This is a beautiful card. Hmm. Oh, and this is actually the cover of the deck. I just want to make sure there's not two in there. Nope. Okay. Oh, nope. There's not. So that's on the cover, right? Beautiful. I love her crown. I have a beautiful crystal crown here that my daughter got me. All right. Chills. Upon my flesh, within thy bones, quivers a crawling, frozen, a crawling, frozen in numbness. Shall I ignore or shall I bestow it? Bestow it. A frozen knowing looks back at thy soul. Mm. Oh, I love this one. This is nice. So it's the cold moon. The wolf. 
take with thy the take with thy the dearest of moments release me for their tongue and nourish me with light mm. contemplation <clears throat> It breathes in the stillness of all that is, exhaling all that isn't, coming from the ends of the starts and the highest of the lows. Here I gasp for the answers to unfold. Beautiful card. Oh, we have the crone. the crone thy wisdom befriends the honor in which weaves within blood a herring call from the depths of your of your sacredness I love this I'm really liking the energy here This is the moon phase. I love it with the antlers. Darkest hour. There in the void of thy darkness swells the shadow of the soul, swallowing the wickedness into the blackness of its wholeness. Dove medicine. The, thy wings are thick and strong, I see, for they have battled the most unforgiving winds. Be proud. Be free, my child. Go on. Soar like never be. That is a beautiful card. Falling in love, the thorns of roses rip open the heart only for thy petals to bleed into thy soul. I love the energy. Family, I love this. Thy love is present in the presence of thee, a comforting veil that warms the, warms the heart and hugs the soul. As you can see the diversity, this is an interracial couple with their beautiful child. Yes, Father Christmas. Father Christmas, the Holly King. How did thy get here? Lost, perhaps? No worries at all. Gather yourself and clear the frost from the good. Still lives in you, dear. Oh, feasting. Let us feast upon the nourishing and be thankful for thy feast, nor here or there, yet everywhere it be. Forest. It is without question a place of mystery, whispers of power you've forgotten. <coughs> Let thy strength crawl from beneath the ground and remind you, dear child, you are magic. Frost, ice cold, melting in time, a frozen glance at what lies behind, what lies ahead, what lies within, and the chilling frost of thy undead.
gatherings. Gather, gather, festive witches. Speak of joy and drink to wishes. Take one, give two, celebrate all blisses. Gratitude, all that I am and all that I'll be. Forever in gratitude, I'll internally be. Hearth, may your warmth take in the gazing flame upon the ship upon the shivers, they melt away. If you hear grumbling, that is my dog. She's mad because she's outside my room. It's because sometimes she'll bark. If she hears noises or something, she'll bark. So, light. Hope is but a word. But a word casting the unseen. Let there be light where light is but a dream. Merriment, I think. What joy, what glee beams from the sounds of voices, uplifting the webs of sorrow, glimmering as if no tomorrow. Mistletoe. What dreams may come from the borrowing of ivy held tight within the womb? A calling in of sorts. A spell from above. Holy holly. Beautiful card. This is the one that she was talking about. Mother Mary. Into the arms of a mothering embrace swells a wisdom full of grace. In thy bosom, where she whispers, sleeps the eye of winter. So it's a beautiful card, though. Offerings. I give to you my heart's intent, wrapped in gratitude and thankfulness. Devotion in exchange for your presence. Here I am gifting my essence. Ornaments. So it is a remembrance of what once was and with what will be. A fragile beauty beaming upon thy. Perseverance. Stay in thy power, dear child, for thy lonely is never alone. When the world is dreadful upon thy, Turn to the spirits within thy. This is a beautiful card with the red cloak. Oh, poinsettia, this is beautiful. Poinsettia, cast the shadows, scream silence at them. Dear witch, what lurks inside transformation transforms into the most beautiful of beauty. That is a beautiful card. She kind of almost reminds me of my daughter with the, the curly hair like that, the way how it is. Reindeer medicine. I love reindeers. Journey into the depths of your soul, an awakening of sights revealed. It is time for no time at all, for all is presently here. Remembering, 
Oh, how thy glimpse glimmer in the darkness of sights, never forgotten, never still, yet peace, yet pacing in the mind, in the twilight of the night. I am so in love with these cards. Ringing the bells. Ring thy bell to cast them out. Ring thy bell and dance about. Swirl the sounds amidst the winds. Nowhere, now, here. No, I was right. I just apparently can't read. It's fine. Nowhere to hide <laughs> for all will ring. I love this. Self-care, if not me, then who? To tend to a wholeness, the parts in which surrender thy pulse. For a heart that's nearer than any other. Beautiful card. Silent Night. If by night the world should sleep, a sleep so deep, the silence be deafening. There would, there would sound nothing at all. At all nothing would sound. Beautiful card. Snow. There is beauty <coughs> in the divine that settles on thy flesh, a magical enhancement bestowed in purity, or bestowed in purity. Beautiful. Solstice. All hail the cunning truth in which it burns deep within root. Rise above the ashes <coughs> and claim. The gods are awaiting your glory, your name. It's funny because I'm pretty sure in the um, Samhain deck, there's a card in there that kind of has almost the same imagery in the background with the people, the, you know, person kind of hiding behind the tree. Oh my God, it's so cute. Squirrel medicine. Pitter patter, plan ahead. Keep silent your path's desire. No eyes or ears shall see you coming. A well-deserved reveal. I actually have squirrels that will come and scratch at my window to kind of be like, um, you're late for our food. <laughs> I also have a bunch of crows actually that wait as well. Beautiful. Star. Follow the stars for they know best. Not to light. Not to dark. A shimmer of what is coming next. Beautiful card. They're all beautiful. Storm. As within, so without. There are storms a coming, a change without doubt. It kind of gives me vibes of like, you know, things are coming. There's like change coming, big change coming. Telling stories. What words so tender can be spoken so bravely unless they are true from the truest of words? Tranquility. In thy womb, a blissful quieting and 
calming stillness lives the world of world of worlds lives the world of worlds spelled bound to the silence I actually I like this image this is this is nice I like this see the witch up here oh this kind of gives me uh it's time for you to work on your shadow self <laughs> turning inward inside this veil of bone and flesh I lay my soul to sleep all the truths within thy bre breath have come to greet me oh yeah The unknown. Think on it and you will stumble. For the heart is a ghost upon the unknown. Let it bleed into the depths, bearing nothing but desire. It's kind of like almost like a, a new moon feel, right? The dark moon. Wise men. If it wasn't for the familiar songs that echo through my spine, I would have lost what is lost and never found my purpose. Beautiful. Wreath. Oh, this is a beautiful card. I like this. There, in the circle of life, tends to breathe death. One is not without the other, internally bound by the essence of spirit. Yule log. And this is the last card. Yep, 44. Insert me with a bleeding thought, a sacred creation birthed from thy. I am God, I am goddess, I am creation and the creator. And it's the Eulog. Wow. I can definitely feel the energy of these cards. <sighs> and smell my beautiful candle. Mm, it smells so wintry fresh. Um, so let's see. So they shuffle the same way as the Samhain deck, very nicely. They shuffle very beautifully. Um, you can shuffle them this way. Um, yeah, so they're a little smaller than uh, the other Oracle deck that I got here, as you can see. So um, you can shuffle these ones the same way as um, so you would shuffle your tarot or like playing cards even. Obviously, they're a little bit bigger than playing cards, but... I know a lot of people don't like gilding because um, over time using them and shuffling them and things like that, like sometimes the gilding chips. Um, I personally like the gilding. I think it adds um, a lot more beauty to the card, just the green gilding like that. Um, the Samhain one has the red one. So I'm actually kind of excited to see what um, color the Beltane cards are going to be um, and what color the gilding is going to be on this side. So Alright, let's see. Um, so this 
deck, like I was saying, did not do the reversals. Um, the Samhain deck um, did uh, reversals. So like if your card was upside down, um, it actually had a separate meaning. Oh, there we go. It actually had a separate meaning for um, if uh, your card was upside down, if it was reversed. So I'm just going to shuffle it again. I'm going to cut it and then I'll pick a card and uh, we'll read it and see. And then obviously um, I am going to do the um, deck interview uh, with this one. I have to do it with my um, Samhain one. I didn't get around to doing it. I Like I said, I was just super excited to work with the cards because... You know, I just was. It's my fault. But it's uh, it's never too late to interview your deck. So, all right, guys, one more shuffle, and let's pick a card. What did we pick? And we've picked mistletoe. What dreams may come from the borrowing of ivy held tight within the womb a calling in of sorts a spell from above holy holly so let is see what the meaning says um so that is card number 22 sorry guys you can hear my daughter downstairs i have a very busy house um i have a house full there's seven of us so all right, so again, they keep it here. So they give you keywords. Um, fertility, protection, spark of ideas. Um, and then they give you like a page here of a definition. You probably know mistletoe as the small bunch, sorry, the small branch with little berries hanging over doorways. It would seem mistletoe is a creative way to steal a kiss from a crush, but the little branch holds much more than soft kisses. Mistletoe is a key element to Yuletide celebrations. In ancient times, it is served as a symbol of fertility and protection. Mistletoe berries were considered seeds of conception and were commonly added to love potions to increase their effectiveness. Do you have a seed that is ready to be sown? Pulling this card is a positive sign that you should act upon this new project. Creative en endeavors are supported at this time and you shouldn't be surprised if you find yourself seeing inspiration in unusual places. Perhaps you wonder if your idea is worthy or if things will work out. Don't worry about that now. Pulling this card is confirmation that you are on the right path. You don't have to do everything at once. Small steps. Just, just like asking a love interest for a kiss under the mistletoe are enough to get you started. Hmm. Interesting. Let's pull one more. Ceremony. That is card number four. Do you hear my crazy house downstairs? Ceremony. So key words, rite of passage, direction, intention. Ceremonies are rites of passage that mark the end of one way of being and the beginning of a new journey. We see them represented in birthdays, graduations, and in this case of magic, a series of steps that direct energy towards your desired intention. To perform a ceremony, a ceremony is a pledge to transcend your former self so that you may become wiser and more, power, more powerful. 
You have pulled ceremony because you are ready to rise to a new level of being where you are now is much too small for, for who you're becoming. You are ready to expand and to start reaching for bigger goals. Do not be afraid of your power for you are destined to do and have more extraordinary things. If you, if ever you doubt yourself, know that you have earned your seat at this new table through the lessons, challenges, and hardships you have previously endured. You may wish to perform a ceremony of your own to commend your commitment to a new direction. Wow. <laughs> that actually resonates with me. They both do, actually. So, yeah. Um, cardstock, it's the same as the uh, Samhain deck, I find. So, um, a little bit thicker than like a plain cardstock. Um, and, of course, that's the back of this one. It's beautiful. The little witchy hands here with <clears throat> the bows, uh, the Samhain deck. The back is red. It's got the same moon. Um, it's got the hands, but where the bows are, it's uh, roots instead. So yeah, guys, this is the uh, Yule Oracle deck. Um, this is the inside of the box. It's got the beautiful moon and it's got the pentacle, pentacle there. Um, I'm super excited to work with this deck. I'm excited to do the, um, deck interview. And just kind of see what kind of uh, relationship uh, me and this deck is going to have. Um, there was something in here. I see like a recipe of some kind. I just happened to pass it. <laughs> now I really want to see. Okay, there it is. So what is it? Candle magic. Magic tip. Carve an intention into the spine of a tapered candle using a sharp object, object such as a needle or pen. You can try single words like wealth or protection to make it easier to fit on the side of the candle. Place your candle in a taper candle holder and as you light it, say your intention out loud three times. Burn the candle down completely throughout the day. You can repeat the same intention after 28 days until your intention comes to pass. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, I'm super excited to work with this deck. I'm super excited to do the um, card interview or deck interview, sorry, um, spread. So I can just kind of see what kind of energy this deck is going to be bringing me. Um, what kind of personality it's going to have. Um, yeah, guys, honestly, I have, like I said, I have the Samhain deck and I love it. Um, I haven't even worked for this with this one yet, but like, I know I'm going to love it. I can feel it. Um, I'm excited for the Beltane one to come out. I'm excited to see the energies for that one. So... Um, I just wanted to quickly, the book here, um, it's, uh, forward by Devin Hunter and, uh, it says Matt Orrin right there on the bottom. Um, I do know that in this one. So, Psychic Witch, um, a metaphysical guide to meditation, magic, and manifestation. Um, so, the gentleman that actually is the author of this book, uh, Matt, um, he is a witch, professional psychic, 
an occult teacher based in New England. Hmm. Perfect. Um, I do know in here, just from my daughter telling me, um, he actually gives you exercises in here um, to help you. Um, so induction one, um, psychic and magical power is our birthright. Um, combining psychic power and witchcraft, um, I'm here to help. Um, so chapter one, so that was the induction one. So chapter one, the power and the sight. Reality is energy, uh, brainwave states, a childlike wonder, affirmations, and neoplasticity. Chapter two, meditation and relaxation, an open-minded attitude, focused flow, not force, um, the breath life, or breathe life, no, nope, breath life, uh, turning in, avoiding burnout or magical impact, deeply rooted and branching out, energetic stability, brainwave, entertainment, uh, closing down. Chapter four, um, Accessory perception, so clairvoyance, um, the screen of your mind, like it just clear audience. So he actually covers all the clairs here. Um, purification and shielding, so how to shield yourself. The triple souls of the witch. So there's a lot here. So um, I'm actually super excited and then he's got exercises um learning to focus with basic meditation so he gives you a bunch of exercises here um of what to do so each chapter has um exercises to do um i know one of the exercises in here is actually one of the exercises that um my instructor was teaching us which was uh for focus it was really good for focus um which was uh counting backwards from a hundred so you know when you're doing your meditation you know or anything like that just be still with yourself be grounded and then just close your eyes focus and start counting backwards from a hundred and as you count it backwards from 100, if your mind, like, try to, to see or, and visualize the number in your third eye, and as you're doing it, if you see yourself get distracted and, like, lose count, you have to start back again. And you start back at 100 and you go down again. And then every time you get distracted and you or you lose your count, you start back. I got all the way down to, I think it was like 13, 14, somewhere around there. And my brain decided to be like, squirrel. I was so mad. I was like, oh my God. And I had to start all over again. Um, so it is definitely challenging, but it really teaches you to focus. Um, so I, I was actually kind of impressed that um, that exercise was in this book. And my daughter came to tell me and she's like, oh, my God, Mom, I'm reading the book and we're doing. He talks about the same exercise that um, your teacher is talking about, the counting backwards. Um, and there was a couple of other ones um, that were in there she was telling me. So I think she's about halfway done the book or pretty close to it. So and she told me she's like, no, Mom, like it, it really is like a really good book. Like it. So. I'll be reading it. So when I'm finished reading the book, I will definitely do a review of the book once I read it. And um, I'll kind of talk about the book a bit and kind of what is in the book and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah. So that's it for this lovely video. Um, I will be doing a video 
um, this weekend um, talking about Yule. Um, and I will also be doing that crystal video as well, guys. Um, I do apologize for it being late coming out. It's uh, been an interesting few weeks for me. So, um, so yeah, I will be doing those two videos this weekend. I'll be doing the video to talk about Yule, um, the winter solstice, because winter solstice is literally around the corner. And I'll be doing the video for the crystal talk as well. I'll kind of talk about uh, those crystals that I have in my little bowl here. And uh, yeah, that is it for tonight, guys. That is it for tonight. That is definitely it for tonight, apparently. Um, I will be leaving all the information down below for both of those shops, as well as the uh, lovely lady who made that dream catcher as well. Um, so all of their um, business information will be in the description down below as well. And if you like my channel, don't forget to hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up so my uh, videos and my channel become a little more easier for people to find on YouTube. And um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Help my channel grow so we can be a family. I can have a little YouTube family, my little witchy community. Um, and, uh, hit the notifi notification bell as well. Uh, make sure you hit all. So any video that I upload, you'll be notified uh, when I upload a new video. And, um, yeah, if you guys have any questions or if you've even worked with this deck, um, cause it came out last year, let me know what your thoughts were on the deck and like how the deck worked with you, how it helped you. Um, what was the energy that you felt with this deck compared to the energy of the Samhain deck? Um, did you feel a difference in the energy? Sorry, I have a little fruit fly here flying around. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know in the uh, comments down below. And uh, yeah, love, la love, light, and magic, guys. And um, I will see you guys uh, soon. Blessed be.